Dr. Chol Kim here from sunny San Diego, California. We're about to start our next case. This is a 68-year-old physician. She's young and healthy and loves tennis, and I believe pickleball, which is the latest craze. But she has um, pain going down her left leg and a little bit of back pain, but mostly left leg pain. Here's her MRI, and this is the side view, and he, these cigar-shaped things are the discs. That's the L3-4 disc. That's what a normal disc should look like, big and plump and juicy. Now, as you go down to 4-5, you'll notice that that disc doesn't look so good. And if you can see carefully, there's a little slippage. That's a spondylolisthesis. She's had that for a long time, and she does not have that much back pain. What is really occurring is if you look down one level below to L5-S1 right here, that disc is also degenerated, but what happens, watch what happens when I scroll over to the left side. I don't know if you can see that little bump right there. Disc herniation with a disc osteophyte complex. And this is the view that's the cross-sectional image, the baloney slice view. Here's the normal 3-4 level. That's the disc. That's the canal. There's tons of room. Those are the facet joints. There's a little bit of arthritis, but she's 68. That's allowed. And then here's 4-5. And look at the size of the facet joints of 4-5. But again, the body's an amazing thing. She doesn't have that much back pain, and she's had that for years. What happened is she developed more recent onset of left leg pain, and if you go down L5-S1, you see this, this protrusion on the sagittal, and then you can see this big shadow. There's even the radiology arrow, in case I can't see it, but I can. Here's the S1 nerve root on the right. That's the S1 nerve root on the left. You can barely see it, and you can clearly see that it's being pushed over by that disc. So instead of focusing on 4-5, which has a spondy, which is usually treated by fusion, we just want to focus on the area that is the most symptomatic, and we're going to do the most minimally invasive surgery possible, a laser endoscopic discectomy, utilizing an interlaminar approach. So instead of making a one-inch incision and creating a hemilaminotomy, we can avoid detaching the tendon, avoid removing any facet joint, sneak our way in here like this, and then wand back and forth to remove that disc herniation and, and basically smooth down that bone spur and mostly make sure that these nerves are free and not tethered down to the surrounding tissues. That's called epidural fibrosis and whenever you have inflammation, the inflammatory process causes scarring and a nerve is supposed to slide back and forth and when it doesn't, it's really irritating to the nerve. So hopefully we'll be able to do this and she's planning to go back to work on Monday <laughs> and she's already pining to get back onto the tennis court so we have to do a great job. So wish me luck. We're getting started with the spaghetti noodle dilator. Look how skinny it is. It's actually more like a linguine or a um, angel hair pasta noodle dilator. Shot. Look at this pesky little piece right there. It's to use the cannula by rotating the tongue across the disc using it like a pimple popper and as I do that to push the drill tube away from me. The drill tube is inside that fat pad right there. We'll probably see it soon. There's the disc herniation. Ooh, it's a pointy one. But it's pesky. Oh yes. Oh, it is a little gross, but oddly gratifying. And there's the drill tube right there. It's covered in a little layer of epidural scar tissue, but I bet you're going to start seeing it pulsate in a little while. Oh, yeah. There's the disc herniation. Look how cute that is. See how white the drill tube is? It's going to get even whiter. Yes. Okay, regular two, Terry, now. If it's hard for me after doing a thousand cases, it's got to be hard for an average person. The guys that are just think that controlling everything all in one hand is easy, I'm just like, dudes, it's not. Us mere mortals, we need the table mount. Oh, this thing is like my teenage kids for sure. It's not going to come out without a fight. Can I have the favorite? Oh, come on. 
Yep. Then he needs a new pair of shoes. Come on. Oh, look at that. It wants to come out, but it's not going to just give it up without a fight. So this flap is right underneath the drill tube right there. Oh, you're going to feel so much better. Or I'll eat my hat. We found out that a hat is a medieval meat pie. It's not a hat that you put on your head. And I guess it's not very tasty. So if you didn't do something, they'd say, I, I'll eat my hat. And like, yeah. We looked it up on the internet, so it has to be true. Pimple popping at its best. I should start a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, never mind, I already do. You can already see it pulsating. And I think this is what we call in medicine, kaka poo poo. Someday I'm going to design my own instruments that aren't so clumsy. Look how awkward I am. Because they haven't changed the technology barely at all. All the new stuff is my, my like custom instruments. The endoscope, the pituitaries, the cannulas are all virtually identical for the last 10, 15 years. Sad, but true. First, I have to ask Kendra on live video, Despite all my crazy characteristics, one thing I do is care, right, Kendra? Yeah. She didn't say it very convincingly, did she? What do you guys think? <laughs> when we leave the uh, office late and it's dark, I wait for her to get in her car and drive away. What a guy. Because I care. That's a dad right there. That's a man. Oh, it's magical, this lady. Look at that. It's taking out the bone, too. That's really hard to do without the drill. So my colleagues that don't use the laser, they use the, the drill a lot. I don't like the drill because it's not nearly as cool as the laser, let's face it. If we had a survey, like what's sexier, a drill or a laser? It wouldn't even be close. And B, the drill is kind of scary because it's spinning and it makes a bunch of dust and it's homely and ugly and bulky and so uncool. And it's not nearly as precise because the drill is about three millimeters in diameter. The laser is less than one millimeters in diameter. It takes longer though, that's true. That's the kakapoo poo as they say in medicine. Almost, and then you can see there's a space underneath the drill tube now. So look away, look away. You must remove kakapoo poo. Upside down and backward surgery. It's good preparation for trying to cut your own hair. Ooh, there's the exiting nerve. Just look away, look away hard. There's the edge of the nerve down there, or tributary of the nerve. So don't even look at the exiting nerve root. It's shy. Look how magical that is. It's like, it just disappears. It's like, where does all the pieces go? So now, I'm looking medially. So this is left, this is middle. There is the dural tube. It's surrounded by fat. That's what's normal. And then if you look a little bit more closely, you can see the dural tube right here. Ooh! It's like lifting up the shirt. And that's almost to the midline. We don't need to go there. And then behind me, is the foramen and lateral recess. So now I'm looking upside down and backwards, looking all the way back. Looking all around. 
making sure that I'm not leaving anything because that would be silly. I'm going to get a little bit more of that junk right there. That's all like hypertrophic ligamentum flavum as it becomes confluent with the facet joint capsule. Fancy words, I know. And then I'll be done. There's the nerve right there. Look at that. Or on the other side of that. Right? See that fat right there? Look away! Yikes! I just do not look, even looking at the nerve for some reason. I get embarrassed. Okay, this is the foramen. That red light, by the way, is not the actual working laser. It's just the pointing laser like you get on your pen. But it tells me exactly where the laser is going to work. Cheating, huh? It's like the new guns nowadays. I have a handgun with a little laser sight. So you don't have to aim with your eyeball. You just aim the laser. It's so cool. And I'm sure you guys have all seen the new movies. All the cool killers use lasers too. Oh, aren't you glad I went up there? Look at that, look at that. I'm so happy. Look at that. That's the pseudo Mikey fragment. Let me see that back again. Okay, and then after that, I'm totally done. Surgery's all done. Did it through that little band-aid incision. It went so well, I took my time and I was like an OCD crazy man, making sure it's perfect. So we're all praying for a great result and a speedy recovery, right guys? Yeah.